The Blue Sulphur Spring Pavilion, located approximately 9 miles north of Alderson, is all that remains of the historic Blue Sulphur Spring Resort. By the early 1800s, sulphur water was believed to have healing qualities, and resorts were quickly established around the springs that exist throughout western Virginia. The spring at Blue Sulphur was known for its pleasant, crystalline water which appeared blue as the Sea of Galilee. Unlike most springs which originate on hillsides, the Blue Sulphur Spring bubbled up from the ground in the middle of a large field, discharging as much as 15 gallons of water per minute. It was first known as a lick, where herds of buffalo and other animals would gather. In 1816, the land was purchased by Joseph Martin and Charles Carraway for the sum of $3,000. They made a few improvements, building wooden or log cabins for those who came to the spring for its healing powers. After a few years, Martin and Carraway sold the land to George W. Buster, a former sheriff of Fayette County, for twice what they paid for it. In 1834, the Blue Sulphur Spring Company was officially incorporated by the state of Virginia. The Blue Sulphur Spring Resort consisted of an elaborate brick hotel, 108 feet long, 50 feet wide, and three stories tall. The hotel had a grand ballroom, dining rooms, and sleeping quarters for guests, who came from as far away as Philadelphia, New Orleans, and even Europe. Beside the main hotel, brick cottages and frame cabins were built for additional guests, increasing the resort's capacity to as many as 220 individuals. A few notable visitors include Andrew Jackson, Robert E. Lee, and Henry Clay. Many of the resort's guests were from the Deep South, willing to take on a lengthy journey by riverboat on the Mississippi, Ohio and Kanawha Rivers, and stagecoach over the Midland Trail, to reach the cooler mountain climate of western Greenbrier County. Here, they spent their summers, often dividing their stays between blue, red, and white sulfur springs. The water was fabled to cure virtually everything. In 1840, Dr. Alexis Martin, a surgeon in the Imperial Army of Napoleon, came to the Blue Sulphur Spring Resort and headed the medical staff until 1859. He claimed the water would aid in the cure of dyspepsia, hepatitis, indolent ulcers, skin diseases, nervous conditions in women, and other ailments. Dr. Martin, administered cold baths, hot baths, vapor baths and mud baths, among other treatments. In 1859, the resort was floundering and its owners decided to sell it to the Baptist Association who began Allegheny College, a private academy that offered courses in the languages, science, history, and philosophy. After a successful first year, Allegheny College anticipated a large student body in 1860. Unfortunately, two serious things happened to hinder the college's future success. First, a fire, believed to have been accidentally started in the laundry, destroyed the resort's main building. Second, the outbreak of the Civil War caused many students to leave school and join either the Union or Confederate armies. Allegheny College officially closed its doors at the end of its second school year. Throughout the Civil War, troops passing through used the Blue Sulphur Spring as a campsite. Most notably, a Confederate regiment from Georgia camped at the spring in the winter of 1863. Not used to the mountain climate, approximately 100 of them became ill and died. They were buried high on a hill about 200 yards northwest of the Blue Sulphur Spring. In 1864 Union troops burned, either deliberately or by accident, all that remained of the former Blue Sulphur Spring Resort with one exception, the Greek-style Spring House Pavilion. Soon after the war, ownership of the property returned to George W. Buster when the courts ruled that the payments made by the Baptist Association were not valid since they were made in Confederate money. The property was in the possession of Bernard H. Buster when he sold it to Louis A. Fleshman on April 24, 1964. Mrs. Rebecca Lineberry inherited it from her father. Mrs. Rebecca Lineberry donated the Blue Sulphur Spring Pavilion and two acres surrounding it to the Greenbrier Historical Society for Restoration and Preservation. Mrs. Lineberry said, This is a very good thing. It is for a very good cause. History is so long and the younger generation needs to find out what happened in the past. There are so many stories that can be told. The Blue Sulphur Spring Pavilion was added to the National Register of Historic Places in October 1992 and has been named to the Preservation Alliance of West Virginia's 2013 Endangered Properties List. The Endangered Properties List brings attention to at-risk properties that contribute to our local heritage. The Greenbrier Historical Society has recently began to stabilize and restore the Blue Sulphur Springs Pavilion thanks to the dedication of several wonderful individuals. Since early August, 
2020, a crew from Waterford, Ohio-based Buckeye Construction and Restoration has been at work in and around the historic pavilion, located nine miles north of Alderson. The work is being financed through a $30,000 grant from the State Historic Preservation Office, plus private donations. Dot once construction is complete, signage will be added for visitors wanting to self-tour the site and learn some of its history. The pavilion itself could be rented out for reunions, weddings or other events to generate income for upkeep, a Greenbrier historical spokesman said. Those interested in following the progress of the restoration may do so by visiting the Blue Sulphur Springs Facebook page. Contributions to the pavilion's restoration fund may be sent to Friends of the Blue, Greenbrier Historical Society, 814 Washington Street West, Lewisburg, West Virginia 24901.